You know what this is. Everybody knows how problematic these are. Come here and take a look at this right here. Do you see how tiny that flange is? Do you see how easily this thing can crack and warp? It just isn't big enough either. You don't get enough flow with it. The more flow, the more go. These things gotta go. Take a look at these. The KC upgraded exhaust manifolds. We have a massive flange on this thing. And the reason that we have this huge flange, it's to help with heat distribution and thermal warping. By increasing that flange thickness, we're making it so that you're distributing that heat evenly. That's not the only thing. Take a look at all those extra bolt holes. That's to make it so that there's less stress and more clamping power to keep from leaking. From the factory, it's kind of weird. There were three extra holes on the block itself, so why didn't the factory just add it in? Well, maybe it was an engineering oversight. Whatever it may be, we knew that it was needed. It's gonna help with better sealing. That's not the only thing. We also increased the flow path, making it 30% more CFM over factory. What does that mean? Well, take a look at our KC Reapers. All new for the 3.5 EcoBoost. Because you add those on and you need that extra flow. So you can see here that we're also port matched, okay? We did not reduce the size on ours because we need that extra flow all the way through. We don't want restriction. So we're port matched. We also have a really good coating over the entire thing. One of the things we didn't want to do is you don't want to leave that coating on these surfaces that are mating. So the way that we do our manufacturing, we do our mold process. Then after we do our mold process, we actually go and we do our coating and then after the coating, we will then go and we'll do our machining process. That's gonna ensure that you don't get any kind of cracking or anything like that whenever you're doing all of the clamping down on this so that this coating doesn't start chipping either. Of course, all of our stuff is gonna come with the gaskets that you need with it. One of the other things that we really wanted to make sure to do was make a high quality stud. So you're looking at 310 stainless steel. We also added that integrated hex head. So any tool that you have, you'll be able to use. You don't have to have a special tool in order to put ours on. So then of course you've got your spacers and then you've of course got the nuts that you need. So not only are we port matched here, but I want you to really take a look at this. Do you see how large the surface deck is? That large deck is also there for thermal distribution. We did not decrease the size. We actually made it bigger. And then again, just reiterating that thickness there, 75% thicker. If any of you have done the install yourselves, you're gonna know how difficult it is to get to these sometimes. However, we made sure that when you get your socket in there, you're still gonna be able to get down to that when you're when you're putting that nut in. Let's actually talk about the material grade. So we didn't wanna just go with the same material grade that Factory did. We actually went with what's called a high silicone molybdenum. That's extremely important for thermal distribution. It's also gonna give you the highest strength in order to keep up with those big turbos that you're gonna put on here. One of the great things that we made sure to do is we made sure that these were designed in a way that you can put on even bigger turbos. So KC Reaper 500s, for example, those are gonna have no problem going on here. Let's call out the elephant in the room. Even the Garrett's will fit on here. Although they're not as good as the Reapers. Pretty much any turbo is gonna fit on here. Stock turbos, bigger turbos. Um, as long as it's a drop-in replacement, it's gonna work with ours. So when you're ready, make sure for your 2011 to 2016 3.5 EcoBoost that you contact us. These are gonna work for you. They're gonna flow more. They're gonna do way better for you. And they're gonna keep up with those big turbos that you slap on there or even your stock turbos.